hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so in today's video i'm going to be doing a spring nail design using the lazy girl method and i'll also be using the gel x method as well so i am starting with gel base coat on the nails right here i did already prep my nails and applied my peel off base coat off camera if you'd like to see how i usually prep my nails and apply my peel off base coat and what type of peel off base coat i use it is a diy peel off base coat so i'll leave a link in the cards i did a video on that a while ago so i'm just applying the gel base coat to my nails and i am using my bellavina gel base coat and when i'm finished i would cure in my lamp for 30 seconds as you can see i did already pick out my nail sizes right there i am using my full covered square nails from mccart and i'm using my bellavina four in one gel base coat this is a thicker gel base coat as compared to the other gel base coat i used before and i like to use that to adhere my nail tips so i'm just going to be using the gel x system to apply my pinky nail tip right here that's the only one i'm going to be applying using the gel x method the rest of them i'm going to be doing the lazy girl method and i did cure the pinky nail in my bigger nail lamp for a few more seconds because i am not too sure if my melody suzy uv led nail lamp is strong enough to really adhere the nail tip so i like to cure it in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds so that it is adhered to my nail tip so anyway moving on i'm going to be doing the lazy girl method so i am using my mccart a siesta which is this nude poly gel and i just placed it inside of the nail tip i am using rubbing alcohol as my slip solution and i'm just patting the poly gel inside of the nail tip and pulling it down the nail just to distribute it because i don't want too much poly gel inside of this nail tip it needs to be thin but it also needs to be opaque so i pull it down the nail making sure that it's not translucent and when it cannot go anymore i just apply a little more of the poly gel and just evenly distribute it inside of the nail tip and always make sure to look at the nail from the right side which is the sticky area which is stick down right now always turn it up just to make sure that when you look at the nail you don't see any bubbles or you don't see anything that's not supposed to be there and that the nail isn't translucent as well and when you're satisfied with how it looks you just place it on your nail and then you apply some pressure and then you clean around the cuticle area and the underside of the nail and always make sure that the nail tip is straight on your nail sometimes it kind of gets a bit bend so make sure it's straight on your nail and just clean the underside and around the critical area until you're satisfied and then you would cure in your lamp for 30 seconds my lamp is a 48 watts lamp so it's a very strong lamp so i cure it in that lamp for 30 seconds Now moving on to the middle nail, I am just going to be placing it on my nail stand and then I'm going to be applying the ACS poly gel to this nail tip as well. So I just placed a okay amount of poly gel on this nail and as you can see right there, I did clean the inside of the nail tip with some rubbing alcohol and my poly gel brush i was supposed to do that for my ring nail but i forgot and i think i forgot to do it on my index nail and thumbnail as well sometimes i do it and sometimes i forget so 
I'm just gonna be patting the poly gel inside of this nail tip and evenly distributing that and when I'm satisfied with the application I'm just gonna place the nail tip on my middle nail and cure for 30 seconds so I'm basically going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the nails but I think I only showed myself doing one more nail because it is a bit repetitive however I will be doing a 3d flower nail design and a little bit of nail art so stay tuned for that and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already this really helps the channel when you do all of that and let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel So this is how the nails are looking right now and on the middle nail there is a little space at the corner there and I didn't like how that was looking so I'm going to be placing just a tiny bead of ACSA poly gel right in that space and patting it and making sure that it fits nicely so that when I'm filing that area would be covered so I like to do that because this usually happens to me especially on the middle nail so that is a good way to troubleshoot this issue and ensure that the nails look really nice and neat so that's why I like to do it it really helps and it looks seamless you wouldn't be able to tell that you did that and then I cured it for 30 seconds and moving on to the thumbnail I am going to be placing the nail tip on my nail I did already apply the poly gel inside of the nail tip off camera because as I said before this video is a tad bit repetitive at this point so I didn't want to show myself applying all of the nails 
so that's why i removed some of the clip but i still wanted y'all to see some so yes i'm just cleaning around the critical area of the thumbnail and the underside of the nail and then i cured it So this is how all of the nails are looking. So I'm just going to be using some rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from all of the nails. And then I filed the nails. So I'm going to be showing myself filing my nails because I like to show myself filing nails when I do the lazy girl method. It's a lot more easier for me to show myself filing these nails because there is less dust as compared to when I do the poly gel overlay which is a lot of dust and I would have to include my dust collector which would be a bit difficult because it's very difficult for me to show myself filing when the dust collector is in the clip so that's why I like to show myself filing when I am doing the lazy girl method because it's easier so yes i'm just using my cuticle bit just to go around the cuticle area this is a cuticle safety bit so i'm going around the cuticle area with it and it doesn't burn or hurt or anything like that so i like to use it around the cuticle area and i also use it on the underside of the nails as well just to clean up the underside of the nails because remember we did do the lazy girl method and when you're applying pressure when the poly gel is inside of the nail and you apply pressure when you place it on your nail tip some of the poly gel can seep out and create this uneven surface on the underside of the nail and we really don't want that uneven surface on the underside of the nail although you wouldn't be able to see it the underside of the nail needs to be as smooth as the top in my opinion so that's why i like to file the underside of the nails and also the top of the nails and the cuticle area just to get that neat finish and it looks really good when you're finished you cannot even tell that i did the lazy girl method when you're finished with the nails and i think the lazy girl method is a beginner friendly method anyone can do it the only thing that's difficult is really averaging how much poly gel to place inside of a nail tip that's the only thing that you would need to gain some understanding of in order to get the best results because sometimes i still apply too much poly gel inside of a nail tip and it usually seeps out the underside of the nail and also around the cuticle area and sometimes i get it correctly so it's just a matter of practice making progress so nothing else is really difficult about the lazy girl method and it ensures that you have really great nails in such a short space of time it doesn't take long at all to do so yeah i really like the lazy girl method um there are some nail designs i don't think you could do with the lazy girl method but i haven't encountered much or any at this point i can't remember if i encountered any right now but thinking about it i don't think i've encountered any issues yet when using the lazy girl method to do any different type of nail designs however i haven't done a lot of nail designs too so that's the reason why i didn't encounter it yet so y'all could tell me something i don't know maybe there is a nail design that the lazy girl method wouldn't be able to do that i don't know about but for now i think the lazy girl method is such a beginner friendly method to do and i think anyone can do it you just have to apply yourself and it will work out practice always makes progress so i did file all of the nails and now i'm using some rubbing alcohol just to remove the dust from all of the nails Now moving on, I am going to be applying my Madame Glam matte top coat to the middle nail and then I cured for 30 seconds. Now 
Now I'm taking my nail palette and I'm going to be placing some poly gel on the palette. I'm not going to be using the white poly gel right now but I'm going to be using the yellow poly gel from a cart and it's called Marigold. So I'm just placing a bead of the yellow poly gel on my nail palette and we are going to be doing the 3D flowers. So I am using some slip solution as well which is my rubbing alcohol and I'm using my 3D nail art brush. Yes you would need a 3D nail art brush to do this. So you need that brush with a point and we are going to be doing some 3D nails. So I am using my dotting tool to pick up a very small bead of the poly gel and I did dip my dotting tool in the slip solution first and then picked up the poly gel. Next I'm just applying the poly gel to my nail and I'm just using my 3D brush just to make a circle on the nail so I'm just forming it into a nice circle and then I would cure that for about 15 seconds I think. I didn't cure it for too long because I'm going to be doing a few of that and I didn't want to mess up the first one so that's why I cured it for about 15 seconds and then moving on I'm going to be doing two more of these circles on the nail so I'm just forming it with my 3D brush. And I think I did the second one and the third one together because I was more comfortable that I wouldn't mess it up right here. So that's why I didn't cure the second one and then go in with the third one, I think. So either way is fine. It's what you're comfortable with. And I think I was comfortable enough. Actually, I think I was wrong. I think I cured it as well for about 15 seconds and then did this third one. But yes, I cannot remember for sure. But either way, as I said before, it's fine. So I'm just going to be doing this third one right here and curing the nail for 30 seconds. And also, this nail design was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest or Instagram I'm not sure but I would leave the picture right here so that you all can see my nail inspiration Now I am going to be placing some of the white poly gel on the nail palette as well and I am using McCart white poly gel and I'm doing the same thing I did dip my dotting tool in some slip solution and then picked up a very small bead of the white poly gel and using my 3d nail art brush i'm going to be forming petals and this first one was a bit difficult they always say when you start off you really start off rough because it's been a while since i did any 3d flowers i think no that's not true i did a 3d flower for my your nail lab sub box review so i'm wrong for saying that but for this nail design i started off really rough so as you can see, I'm kind of struggling a bit to get the perfect petal shape, but eventually I got it and I made sure to cure each petal for about 10 to 15 seconds again because I didn't want to mess it up. So that's why I cured it individually. So yes, this first one, it was not looking good, but, but after a while I started to get the hang of this 3d flowers and the nail started to look a lot better so i was happy about that so i really don't have much to say when we're doing 3d flowers all i could say is that you just place a very small bead of the white poly gel and you then shape it in to a a petal and it's a bit difficult for me to really explain this it's kind of like you're doing an oval shape but there's two points in the oval shape the top and the bottom has a point 
and you just make a little space in between <laughs> So yes, I'm going to let this part play out because I really am horrible at explaining. So I'm just going to let this part play out so that y'all can see how I am forming these petals and stuff. And always practice makes progress. I wasn't as good as I am doing these things right here before. I wasn't as good as I am now and I still don't think I am that good. I still need to practice with this because some things are still a little stressful for me to do but I think my 3D flowers turned out really good. I was surprised at how good it turned out. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I was really surprised. So Practice makes progress, y'all can get it, y'all will get it eventually. You just have to practice a lot and it will be stressful. I was a bit stressed doing these nails, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of stressed, but it turned out really good. So yeah, I'm just going to let this part play out so that y'all can see. Some of the video is sped up a bit and then some I slow down so that y'all can really get the gist of what I am doing and also when you're using your 3d brush always make sure that you maintain the point in the brush make sure that the point is always there because that's what makes it a 3d brush and that is what makes it as effective as it is so always groom it into the point so anytime you're cleaning your brush make sure and groom it into a point so yes, I think that's all I need to say. So I'll come back when I need to say something important. So doing this last flower was a bit challenging. I don't know why it was challenging, but I just wasn't getting it right for some reason. So I don't find this flower was looking as good as the rest was looking, but it was decent enough.
so this is how my 3d flowers are looking and i think they look really good let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and also give me some pointers as well because i am not a professional so sometimes i do nonsense so yeah let me know anything that i was doing wrong or what i could do a bit differently or something like that so i did use some rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from the 3d flowers because it was a bit sticky and now i'm going to be using my white gel polish and i just placed them on my nail palette and i'm going to be doing some french nails so yes i'm just going to be doing that and doing these french nails it was it was fine i didn't have no issues in doing the french nails i did do three layers of the white because the first layer was wasn't opaque and the second layer it was opaque but you could see that it needed a third layer so i did three layers on each but i only showed myself doing two layers and i cured each layer for 30 seconds So I cured the first layer and now I'm going in with my second layer. So this is how my index nail is looking and this is only with two layers i did the third layer off camera as i said before but moving on to the ring nail i'm going to be doing the same thing and i did do the same thing for the thumbnail but i didn't show myself doing that So this is how the nails are looking with three layers of the white gel polish. Now I'm going to be applying my gel top coat to the French nails and curing for 30 seconds. But before curing, I did apply some rhinestones to those nails. And now I'm going to be applying the gel top coat to the thumbnail and applying some rhinestones to this nail as well and curing that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be placing some of my gel top coat on my nail palette and using a dotting tool I dip the dotting tool inside of the gel top coat and just place a dot on the middle nail 
and i'm just gonna be applying some rhinestones to those nails and the reason why i had to use the dotting tool is because this nail is matte so i don't want the shiny gel top coat to be apparent on the nail so by using the dotting tool it ensures that the gel top coat is placed very thinly on the nail and then i apply the rhinestone and when i'm finished with applying the rhinestone i cure for 30 seconds so i purchased these glitters on amazon so i'm going to be using the yellow one on the nail So I am going to be applying my gel top coat to the pinky nail and then I poured the yellow glitter on the nail. I then clean around the cuticle area and also the sides of the nail and the free edge just to ensure that I could maintain the shape of the nail and then I cured for 30 seconds. So this is how the nail is looking with one layer and it looks so good. Now I'm going in with a second layer so I applied a layer of gel top coat to the pinky nail again. And then I poured the yellow glitter. And I cleaned around the cuticle area and the sides of the nail and cured again for 30 seconds so this is how the nails are looking and i think they look so good let me know what you guys think now i'm going in with my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails So while applying my cuticle oil, I forgot that I didn't apply top coat to the underside of the nails. So I had to stop what I was doing and apply the top coat to the underside of the nails and cure that for 30 seconds. So yes, now I'm just going to be rubbing in the cuticle oil so that it could rehydrate my skin and nails. So guys, this is the finished look. This is my spring nail design using the Lazy Girl method and the Gel X method. And I think my 3D nail design looks really good. 
although the 3d nail design isn't beginner friendly you need to really practice when it comes to 3d nails because it can be very frustrating so i wouldn't say that part is beginner friendly but everything else is definitely beginner friendly so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below i think it turned out really good so yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one